Hello YouTube, hello world, hello new subscribers. Thanks for tuning in again. I hope you enjoy this video. I've got a DVD update. I'm going to show you this pile and then after that show you a pile of VHS tapes as well. And at the end I'll give a big thank you to Movie Gems who sent me a tape recently. So let's get started. I'm going to start off with the local release of Blood and Black Lace. This is a Mario Barber film from the 1960s and is an absolute must-see if you claim to be a fan of slasher films because this is one of the first slashers apparently ever made and uh, this is the two disc edition uh, released by BSV and it's exactly the same as the North American release I'm a little surprised it only got a 15 rating it's a pretty nasty piece of work but that's a must see now if you bought the Grindhouse experience from Umbrella you may want to consider getting the Grindhouse Retro Sexploitation uh, collection here which consists of eight films on four discs and they're not great films they're just sort of films that you watch um, just out of curiosity's sake you know they're just little curios of the ones I've watched the one I like the most is Teenage Devil Dolls anyway so um, they're going to release a new one soon called Grindhouse Sex Drugs and Rock and Roll so I'm going to get that one too a new something weird video this is a local release of Chain Girls and Daughters of Lesbos and um, I don't know if I can show you, oh that's alright um, yeah so there's two films with the lesbian theme and look it just sits among the nice collection of exploitation shit that I have now the Oblong box I got at Top End Discs for ten dollars as you can see and that is a film that I haven't watched yet so I'm glad to have that one Deadly Blessing, this is the Umbrella Entertainment release, has been released here and in Britain, no North American release to my knowledge. Lizard in a Woman's Skin, Lucio Fulci, this is another Umbrella Entertainment release. I've never seen this film, so I'm looking forward to watching that. Um, they're a Weird Mob, this is an Australia UK co production from 1966, and this was another cheapie that I bought at Top End Discs. Uh, it's more of a curiosity piece of Australian life back in the 60s and what can I say except it's, it's a little bit, bit slow but um, yeah an interesting foray into Aussie life in the 60s and a couple of new tromas I picked up Tromeo and Juliet and Class of Newcomb High so they're the two new uh, troma DVDs and let's have a look at some VHS tapes now now speaking of class of Newcomb High, the guy who starred in that, his name's Richard Pritchard. He also starred in this thing called Space Avenger, which I picked up very cheaply in an original box and everything, released on applause. It looks like a Troma production, but I don't think it is. But I could be wrong, so if someone knows any different, let me know, but I couldn't find it as a Troma production on the internet anywhere. It may well be, but that's that anyway. And here's a definite trauma film, The Surf Nazis Must Die on the Film Pack label, original box and everything. I've never seen this film, I know you can get it on DVD and whatnot, but that's the old uh, local release home video on the Film Pack label, which uh, was a sub-label of Vestron, in fact, there you go. I've had this original, original release of Halloween 3 on Thorny MI for ages, and um, in original box, beautiful, blah blah, but unfortunately the tape itself is a sell-through, so... That kind of takes the gloss off, doesn't it? Well, I found one for a dollar with the original tape in it, so I'm going to swap them around. No one will know the difference. Now I wanted to get the bloody original tape for a long time because it's got some awesome trailers on it. It's got like the one for Superman 3, Mad Bastard uh, Idi Amin, and um, My Tutor, I think it was another one. So yeah, really cool stuff on it. Now I've got two of the bastards, but this is the one I'm going to keep. That I don't give a fuck about. And look, I'm a happy boy. And here's another new thorny I picked up, Final Mission. This has got a trailer for The Hills Have Eyes on it, the original trailer, extended one. I think it goes for about two, three minutes, whatever. And this is another one of those films of a guy coming back from war. But he doesn't come back from Nam, he comes back from Lao. So there you go, there's a little spin on an original story. Picked up House 2 in an original box, very nice. And despite what people say, and it's, look, it's only PG rated, whatever, I didn't think it was such a bad film. I've seen a hell of a lot worse. Look, I mean, I sat through a couple of Jennifer Aniston films. I mean, that that is, they are shit films. You want a shit film, you go and sit through Jennifer Aniston. And I'd rather watch this than anything that that scrag is in. 
Here's a new Village Roadshow, Murders in the Rue Morgue. This is based on Edgar Allan Poe's story. This is uh, from 1971. This VHS tape was released in the late 80s, and somehow I don't think that woman was in it. But that's how they promoted shit in the 80s. We're all sex fiends, and we still are. And here's another one I picked up for $1, Creep Show 2 on Village Roadshow. And my favourite story, oh, it's a bit of a toss-up between the Raft one and the Hitchhiker one, but I love this film. Really enjoy it. What's your favourite story? Let us know. Brutes and Savages. Check that out. Shocking and offensive scenes. Um, that's one of those fake Italian Mondo films. Or maybe it's American. I don't know. I think it's Italian. But some of the stuff that occurs in this has been staged. And I think there's real animal cruelty in it. So I wouldn't recommend it for animal lovers. But that's the old original home video. Now, Joe D'Amato, this is one of his non-horror movies. It's got titties on the front and titties on the back. 11 days, 11 nights. Hard one to find, and I would suspect that that's a pretty pretty dull film. Awesome Lotus. All right, original box. I know nothing about it. It looks like cheap, fun garbage, and that was another dollar pickup. New Palace Films there for you. And speaking of Palace, I've got a new... Palace Academy video. I only recently got this one of Diva. This is the English version, dubbed into English and really, really strange. I saw the original version on SBS years ago. It is an absolutely superb film directed by Jean-Jacques Binax, who did Betty Blue, of course, which is one of my favourite films. And Diva, wow, it's a great film too. And I thought I'd take the opportunity to show you a few more Palace Academies in my collection. Firstly, The Ploughman's Lunch. This is a really good British film from the 1980s. Sort of political type of movie. Very good. A very rare one called The Mystery of Oberwald. This is only PG rated, but it's an Italian film. A very subtle ghost story, believe it or not. It's kind of a period drama. If you're not into that sort of thing, you won't like it. But I thought it was very good. And this one, which has been released on DVD by Umbrella Entertainment in Australia. It's called The Night of the Shooting Stars. It's an Italian war film set during World War II. And um, I really enjoyed that film as well. And that is an incredibly rare Palace Academy. It's very hard to find that one. The Savage Connection. Palace Vibrant Video. I paid quite a lot of money for this on eBay recently. But I don't care. I mean, if you have a look at it, it is in absolutely superb condition. Most of the time, these vibrants are really sort of mashed up and beaten up and all the rest of it. But anyway, Savage Connection, there's very scant information on the internet about this, but it was a film I think made in 1972, and is a pretty obscure biker slash adult film from the United States. It's a very strange film, uh, kind of retro, almost psychedelic in parts, but that is a great addition to my Palace Vibrant collection, I've got to tell you that. So yeah, as you can see, I'm a fan of Palace Vibrant Video, and these are the first releases, I think. I think the way you can tell you've got a first release is with the gold inking and stuff, whereas the later releases were just boring yellow, so um, that film is uh, delicious by the way. Slowly getting there, it takes many years to find these, but they're coming along. And finally, a massive thank you to Movie Gems, who sent me this one without charge, um, the Care Bears video. Look, I don't give a stuff about the Care Bears, but um, it is a label that I collect, being Powerless Family Video, and I've got quite a few here, as you can see. I've got an extra strawberry shortcake, but I just couldn't be bothered bringing it out. That's probably the worst quality one, Champions of Justice, the Lone Ranger, whatever. And, um, oh, look, we'll have a quick whiz through, whatever. That's the Housewarming Surprise, Mighty Mouse, and that's the one I have in storage somewhere. The Legend of Hiawatha, I have watched that. It's really cheesy, and... Not such a bad thing. And this piece of crap here called The Magic of Lassie. <laughs> um, there's, what else is it? Lone Ranger. And there's another one that I've been trying to find for a long time called Dunderclumpin' because I used to wear that out when I was a kid. I really enjoyed that one. That's it for today, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what I'm doing for the next video. I've no idea, but I hope you enjoyed this one. And I hope you enjoy the next one. Thanks for subbing. You guys are fantastic. And have a great day.